We're on BO3, just wanted to talk about some like COD news and stuff. Of course. First of all, World Series of First of all, the World Series of Warzone was on, considering my procrastination. By the time I finish editing, it's probably already going to be over, to be honest. I hope Scump wins, and I have nothing else to say. Call of Duty next. I mean, they already announced the date like forever ago, but they also announced the time now. It's on at 12.30 uh, p.m. Eastern and 5.30 p.m. UK time, if I remember correctly. Put, just put it on screen. Bro, I'm just ass today. I got someone with this. Alright, so Call of Duty Next is on at this time and date. Personal news, I actually managed to somehow acquire a PS4. I know if I haven't gotten it yet, but like we're... But I can get one. I won't be able to record the, not closed beta, but like the early access part of the beta for PlayStation. But I won't be able to uh, do the regular open beta part. So that's good. At least my career isn't in complete jeopardy, just slight jeopardy. Also, uh, PlayStation is losing it. They're basically just saying everything they can to, like, make the acquisition not go through, which I totally understand that. I still think it's going through, like, no doubt. Like, Jim Ryan said something like, they said they're only gonna keep Call of Duty on PlayStation, like, th for three games after the contract ends. Which, I'll be honest, I think that's just, like, mega cherry-picked. Like, they, they were probably gonna do more than three. If anything, I don't think they're ever gonna get rid of it from PlayStation. They're buying Activision for Game Pass. I actually said it was for the Metaverse, but that's just because like all investors instantly ejaculate when they hear the word Metaverse. I don't know why that is. It's so lame. Wouldn't really affect me personally. I I have Xbox and PC, but uh, I can see why it'd be a problem for many people. If, like like they play on PlayStation and now suddenly they can't play COD anymore. I don't think they'll ever get rid of it. In fact, as far as I remember, I forgot where I heard this, but apparently like even after the exclusivity deal with PlayStation is over, Xbox people are not getting like any like like the custom perks like the PlayStation people got. Stuff like early DLC, which isn't really a thing anymore, but back in the day it was. Double XP days on like days that other platforms don't get stuff like that, you know? Apparently they're not gonna do that. At least that's how I heard something be phrased. I don't know, I might just be stupid. I don't even remember what I was looking at. That's something to take note of. You, you might just see like sharp no exclusivity perks. Although we were, we'll probably still see like Game Pass Ultimate stuff. All right, game ended. Is there much else to talk about? I don't think there is. And to be honest, I am not on today. I can't really play normally. Xbox made a new controller, the Elite Series 2 Core, which is just the same thing, but you don't really get anything with it. It's cheaper. PS5 finally got 1440p. There's also a new 15 second campaign clip, which I already saw. There's not... It's not a big deal, I'll play it right now. Narcoland, cartel protection. Cool visual. Zero seven, copy, danger close. Digitally pre-order Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and play the campaign up to a week early. Was it good? Whatever, that's it.